Hello guys, today will be a start of a new series on this YouTube channel. For the rest of the year and a bit after, I will publish for free one of my premium courses, which is Laravel testing for beginners. So it will be one lesson per day without any intro or like hello guys or see you in other videos, just one lesson per day. But if you are impatient and want the full course, go to laraveldaily.com, subscribe to the membership and you will get it all, including the link to the repositories. Now, a quick story of why I decided to do that. To be honest, I'm a bit tired of pushing one new video every day, especially with a lot of new things going on on laraveldaily.com with new courses like Splayed, with new premium tutorials. One new YouTube video per day is just a bit too much for me at the moment. So I do want to take some time off YouTube for Christmas break, which is naturally a break for a lot of you guys as well. So not too many people would even watch the YouTube over Christmas break. So why not publish something? And I've chosen this course specifically about testing because I think that testing is really important and not enough people do that in Laravel community. It got much better with a lot of courses and materials released about that. And I hope that my free course will emphasize the message and for those of you who haven't started testing, it will be a good kind of kick to do that. So I will be back in January with hopefully new material for daily videos again, or as a plan B, I will take that downtime to rethink the vision of this channel because I've been putting daily videos since January of 2021, so almost two years now, and maybe it's time to rethink how will I structure videos, maybe it will be still daily, maybe I will go into mode of serious by topics, or maybe longer videos, I will think about it. There are still some topics that I haven't covered on this channel, other options to go is to answer your questions, answer questions from LaraCast, doing code reviews, so a lot of potential ideas, for 2023. So still subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot of new stuff in 2023, but for the rest of 2022 and for the first days of January, it will be all about Laravel testing. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year ahead for everyone and see you guys in other videos. Let's start this course about automated testing about PHP unit and PEST and others in Laravel from a bit philosophical note why you should test your code with automated testing because probably you test everything manually right so you release a feature you want to release a feature and you click around and you test the buttons that they work that the database contains the correct data and all of that and you should do that there's nothing wrong with that but if you improve that feature and need to retest the whole thing again you do that manually for the second time it's okay but for the third, fourth, and fifth time, wouldn't it be cool to have some kind of a robot helper that would do that for you? Guess what? This is what automated testing is about. So a typical argument why people don't write automated tests I hear is we don't have time to write those tests. But if you think about it in the long run, it actually saves time because you don't need to retest the same thing for the second and third and fourth time. And imagine what happens if some other features are released and new developer who released those features needs to test their own code and also maybe your own related code. So they would need to click that manually as well or they would need to kind of trust the system that nothing broke down or wait for the actual production box to appear. What is the choice? So automated tests prevent from exactly that from happening. So you can retest the same things and catch bugs quickly before the code goes to production. And you can also automate that in various ways. So for example, if someone releases the feature and pushes the code to GitHub, you can automatically launch the test on some staging or testing server before even someone reviewing the code from the team. And then imagine the scenario that the project grows new developers come, all developers go, maybe you leave the project, maybe others, new features. And for long-term projects, at some point, no one actually knows all the features, how they should work, how were they working a year ago. So automated tests are kind of the fundamental line ensuring the quality of all their features for the long-term. So if you want your projects to survive longer with fewer bugs, Automated testing is kind of a no-brainer thing, especially since it's very easy to add the tests in Laravel. And this course will show you how exactly. On the screen, you see the default PHP Artisan test on a totally fresh Laravel project. So I haven't run any other Artisan command. I haven't added any lines of code and it already can run some tests. 
So in the next lesson, we will start practically looking at how to write tests and you will see that it's pretty easy, especially if you focus on the main, the most important ones in the beginning. In this video, I wanted to emphasize why. Now let's get into the how.